Welcome to the Entertainment Rants Podcast, your number one opinion source for all things entertainment. Join host Marco Mazzola as he sounds off on the latest movies, TV, music, gaming, comic books, and more. Now, here's the man of the hour, Marco Mazzola. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Entertainment Rants Podcast. I am, as always, your host, Marco Mazzola, and let's go around the room and talk to our fellow ranters. Hello, Mila. Hello. Hello, Larry. Hey, hey. And hey, Bruno. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, we, this is why we love Bruno coming in, because we always get a little preempt of what we're going to be talking about today. <laughs> it's awesome. the best part of it. I can just ignore Catch the raise. intro. <laughs> and just Praise. <laughs> so, today, again, we're going to be talking about both A Christmas Story, the original, and the new Christmas Story Christmas. We're going to do like a dual episode, a little versus episode, if you will, and talk about both together. All yes. right? So, mm-hmm. um, again, they came out with a new Christmas Story movie, mm-hmm. which is a direct sequel an actual sequel to the original. There's been a couple others. Yep. They did a couple other pseudo sequels. But they, they sucked. They sucked eggs. <laughs> Bad. So, like, this movie kind of ignores <laughs> the original. Uh, the I mean, sorry, ignores the other ones and goes back to the original from 1983. So, let's start with that one, uh, the original Christmas story, starring oh, Peter Billingsley, right, Melinda Dillon, Darren McGavin, uh, and, a few, and a host of others, okay? Um, you know, basically, in the 40s, young boy, Ralphie Parker, basically tries to convince his parents and Santa and whoever that he wants his Red Rider BB gun. Yes. And, and basically, yes. every time I talk him out of it, you're going to shoot your eye out. And it's a classic, right? It's a classic Christmas movie. That gets played, I think it's TBS and TNT, or at least one of them does a 24, 24 hours. hours from Christmas Eve. 24 Christmas. hours? Yes, oh, it yeah. starts at like 5 Damn. o'clock Christmas Eve <laughs> and goes to like 5, 8 o'clock, whatever it is, well, on Christmas the, Day. The 20, they just do it back to Like just that, just, just the Christmas that story? Movie, that's, that's all they do. What? You, you don't know this? Yeah, no. They've been doing oh, it for Jesus. years. Yeah. I, mean, I haven't, I haven't years. had like... I haven't been watching like Christmas channels in so long. Like, it's like TNT and Jesus. TBS. Like they both do it, and they. How don't long s- have they been doing that? I mean, it's been I like years. It's like ten I mean, years. Like, oh it's been my probably god! More. Probably longer. Yeah, I would, yeah, I would say be. more. Yeah. 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 It's, Jesus. it's crazy. I love it because you can just like click on the TV. Any time of day. Anytime of day. Oh, we, always, we always put on ABC yeah. Family that was playing oh. all the all the Christmas They do movies. all the different ones. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. On like so the, loop. So if you need to catch this one, you can catch it any time of day. <laughs> any time of day. Just put it on. Like, oh, okay. part of it. And like, gotcha. you see, start at the middle. Yeah. That's fine. Just watch the end and then go back and watch. Go, go back, back to the episode. Yeah, yeah. I just watch on HBO Max. You just Tarantino it. You know what I mean? It's on loop. It's on loop. That's all you got to do. So let's go around the room and give me your original thoughts and your where you came to know and your feelings on the original Christmas story. We'll start off with Bruno this time. Um, I th- uh, so I think it's a, it, it's the reason it's played on loop, right, at Christmas is because it's such a classic. You know, it came out in what, 1983, I think it was? Yeah. Um, and they did a really good job of representing how much it sucked to be a kid in a neighborhood where you get bullied. like. How when you're not like the jerk kid in the neighborhood, yeah. you get kind of get it the shit highs on. And lows. It was the highs and lows. Of Christmas and, time, you know the things you want, the things you don't get. Like they did a pretty good job, and they chose a really good child actor at the mm-hmm. time to kind of represent that. And so the every it, kid, yeah, yeah, the mm-hmm. every kid, and like the every parents, and you know it was it was well put together. It wasn't like over the top, but it was like a pretty. It was a traditional sort of, sort of slice of Americana. Yeah. Almost it was a, a, a slice of life. Yeah. Kind of. yeah, very rock, very, very, very Rockwellian. Um, uh, so I, I didn't mind it. I, it's, I can't say that it's my favorite. I'm not the kind of person to like sit there and watch it like, at all, ever. If, if I don't, if it's, if it's on and I flip through it and I've got nothing else to watch, then maybe I'll watch it because mm. it's, it's fun to watch. But mm. it's not like the first couple times I was like, ah, oh, this is really funny. This is interesting. It's kind of a cute little slice of life. But I wouldn't say I thought I wouldn't say it was amazing to me, but it was, it was fine. It was, right. <laughs> Larry, how about you? Um, I, we, I, we get a lot of phone. We got a lot of emails after Bruno's I love that movie. So it's it's one of the movies. I can't believe you hated it. <laughs> no, I don't hate Christmas. it. I don't hate <laughs> it. You hate, yeah, you hate Christmas. I just don't think, I just don't oh think it's amazing. God. I think it's fine. I mean, amazing. Amazing is a very strong word. I think for any like. Well, to quote you know. Mila, didn't blow me away. There you go. All right. <laughs> Still trying to find that movie. Um, <laughs> I know, right? I, I really liked it. I, I think, like you said, it, it, it captures Americana, middle yeah. middle America, blue collared, yes. struggling person. Yes. Str- you know what I'm saying? So it's like I yeah. really, it, it, it hit home. It definitely hits home for me. Maybe that's why I don't. It doesn't really, like 
it hits home for me too. Maybe a little too much. You know, you like know, yeah. I was that so, kid. It, you know, yeah. it, so I, I and like you said, Bruno, it it captured so many. You know, of you saw the bully, you saw the kid that wasn't that was wasn't the bully. I was getting bullied. He had yeah. his core friends. Yeah. You know, um, he's got the poor little the little brother. You know, with the with the overbearing mom. And, yeah. You know, it was so much of this movie that I absolutely loved. You know, um, all, all, all the little. Uh, I, not not the the flashbacks, but like the um, like when he would like days off or yeah. and like and he would imagine like him going over the backyard and getting the robbers right, and yeah. him bring, <laughs> him him writing the story and he would and like envision that when he brought it it was gonna be this masterpiece of a mm-hmm, story mm-hmm. and he got an A plus 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 all the whole room right right it was it, right. it was, it was, it was such like you said it was put together so well it was done so it well was. it was I mean this movie was done in 1983 yeah. And is endured, but but it but it has this long, right? But it doesn't have like an '80s feel to it, like well, no, because it, 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 it was captured, it was done in '83, but it was, it was filmed like as if like '50s, '40s, '50s, right? right. But, it, but I'm saying it's like right. even when they do it now, you're like, all right, you still kind of get like a current feel when you're watching the movie, even though yeah. it's supposed to be set back then. Yeah, this movie it had that Felt like feel it was. to it, right? Yeah. Like I, like. I had to go Timeless. back to look. At, yeah, like I had to go Timeless, back to look yeah. at it and go, "Wait, when was this done?" Right. For some reason, I thought it was done like in the seventies, and I was like, "Oh no, this was done in the 80s. Yeah. 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 So it was it was a great movie, and again, it still it still holds true. I think for for me, I really. Yeah, I mean, really they, liked as a period it. piece, they did an amazing yeah, job. Yeah, right. A period right. piece. Right. Oh yeah, I didn't realize it was a period piece until you just there. said that, and I was like, "Are you really?" Yeah. Damn. But it didn't blow her away. It didn't blow her away. Didn't blow her away. <laughs> <laughs> Mila, what are your thoughts on the original? So, as someone who, when I was a kid, I'd only seen it like twice because there was a like we because when I was a kid, I watched more like animated stuff, like the claymation type of movies. Uh, watching it, like when I thought of it, I was like, "Oh yeah, Christmas Story. That was a, a good one." I think like I, <laughs> I didn't think much of it, but I watched it again recently. And I was like, oh my God, this is so much better than I remember. <laughs> As an adult, you see it like through you different eyes. Exactly. Right? Yeah. I was oh like, my oh God. my God, this is so, like, it was so funny. And it just like hit a lot of things. And for me, like, I, like, I watched it and I was like, oh, this is, it's like, I wouldn't say like, you know, it's not like one of those heartwarming movies necessarily. It's just like almost a nostalgia trip. Mm-hmm. A little yes, bit going like, man, yeah. <laughs> back you know, then. I think that's, one of the reasons I'm not like super pumped on it because it was a little too much like uh, thinking back to my childhood that was a lot like this that kind of sucked. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I, so you're like, oh, I, I remember. This uh, for me was a little too real, right? Like <laughs> all the shit that he went through and the way he was treated like, and all yeah, that was me. his parents. I'm like, <laughs> God damn it, I remember know? all of this. <laughs> and I, you I know, just, I spent many thousands with my therapist <laughs> yeah. to work through this. And all of a sudden it's all there. One movie <laughs> unravels years of therapy. <laughs> <laughs> it was all in a happy little box. I put it all in the box and now it's out. I closed it up and I locked that shit away. <laughs> hey, Ralphie, he's beeping on your prick. Ralphie. Ralphie. Oh, Poor Ralphie. My inner Ralphie. That's awesome. He very rarely touches his inner Ralphie. But that's <laughs> Never touch inner Ralphie. <laughs> we let, Bra- let inner Ralphie rot. You meant it, but you get the point. <laughs> oh, I meant it that way. Oh, <laughs> Alright, I don't know if there's any worse than an explicit rating on the podcast. We'll find out today. So for me, this is my one of my original go-to Christmas movies. Um, you know, I will throw it on from time to time. Um, there are a bunch I'll do before that. We just watched Scrooge last night. We watched Elf. We watched all the different you know iterations, of different Christmas, Santa Claus the movie, things like that. And I don't necessarily throw this on too often because I know it's going to be on 24 hours. So yeah. I don't really have to. It's just going to be on. <laughs> we're going to watch it. But it is the nostalgia for me. I don't know what the hell your childhood. We were really, we lived right close to each other. I don't know what you had to go through. But for me, well, <laughs> you know, my dad. Like, Listen, that's a, that's a topic for a different day. Well, <laughs> like I said, lots of therapy. Lots I mean, of I therapy. guess I just didn't unravel that in my, my therapy. Like, it hasn't been brought to the surface yet. So it's still, uh, it's still tucked away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just, um, looking forward to that day. Wait till you touch <laughs> your inner Ralphie. Yeah, I was going to say, you haven't made eye contact with your inner Ralphie, have not, you? <laughs> Not. <laughs> He's gonna be aggressive. I can oh, feel it's it. thrilling! <laughs> it's thrilling. He's gonna be really aggressive. All right, we're going for a Ralphie grab angle. Let's go. <laughs> so, 
We're looking forward to that. <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> it really <laughs> does. Mark, you, Mark, you better lay low for a while. Yeah, this <laughs> this divulge here. really as it really does fast. from here. Um, but it did, did it still holds like because I was a big toy kid, obviously when I was growing up, and uh, Christmases were you know definitely the happiest time of the year growing up. You know, my parents. It did, they did, and then during the year, my father hated Christmases because my mother and my grandmother would buy us way too much stuff. So, like, that was miserable, but we always had that stuff to go back to. So, I, I loved watching that part of it. And I remember wanting something for Christmas. It was always like, we you know, we got a bunch of stuff, but there's always yeah. like that one big thing. It was like a G.I. Joe doll. Yeah, it was always yeah. like something. Like, I wanted the, you know, the, the, the Terradrome. I got the Terradrome. You know, like, there's yeah. always that one big present. Usually my mother's mother would get it for us. Mm. Like, that was always the gift from her, you know. Um, so, I, I remember that fondly at that, that time of year. Um, myself, I didn't really have bullies, my, like me, personally. My brother did all the time. Uh, growing up, kids that lived like right around the corner from us. Um, but for me, I didn't. So I didn't really have to, ident- I didn't identify with that. Uh, I wasn't the bully, but I also didn't get bullied for whatever reason. I don't really know why. I mean, I didn't start martial arts until I was eight. So it wasn't like I was really standing up for myself from anybody until I was in my teens. And anybody that would try, then I'd just smack the crap out of them and that would be that. But, you know, younger, I just, I, you know, like Dante got it way more than I did. So, you know, I guess that didn't really affect me in that way. So the movie still holds that magic for me. Which, and then we get into the second one. When we get into A Christmas Story Christmas, I'll give you the differences. Like the second one doesn't mm. hold that magic for me. But we, mm. Emil and I were talking about this earlier yeah. too. But we'll, we'll get there. Um, but let's stay topic on the first one. What were your favorite scenes or part of the first movie? Mm. Flick getting <laughs> his tongue stuck to the pole. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know what? Where's Triple dog. Every, every time yeah. I right watch that, like, I feel like I feel you that. You can feel it, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I, like, I know oh the God. cold. Like, 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 like somebody get the kid a cup of hot water, will you? I yeah, know. Right? I'm like, just it's breathe on it. So just <laughs> I've done that, not with the tongue, but like, I've like when it gets really cold I've done it with out, the tongue before. I've gotten my like lips stuck <laughs> because I'm an idiot, and I'm like, I wonder, and I'm like, oh, that really hurts. I wonder, I wonder. You know? Should I? Stop, stop. Mine wasn't touch that bad, but it was long enough for me to panic. I was like, oh, yeah. oh my god, oh my god, it's real. It's real, it's real. They were lying. That <laughs> whole sequence, too, it's the I dare you, I double dog it, I tripled. So I was like, oh shit, he did it. <laughs> no so way. It's like that whole sequence is like everybody he breaches out there. The he goes right for the throat. <laughs> yeah. Right, so it's like every everybody, you know, with everybody gathering around and then his tongue is stuck and then the bell rings and they're like sorry dude yes, gotta go yeah, and they just leave them there yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, snow again yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, shit. where's no, that, Frick and that everyone, shit's real back yeah. then yeah. nobody gave a shit and, then, yeah. and that's yeah. like that, that the part. bell rang I don't know man what you want to go in gotta, gotta go, go buddy good luck <laughs> let me how it works out for you, yeah. you know? yeah. I like, like, my favorite part is like Flick Flick who all of a sudden they just don't know who he is anymore I just like that part was great I mean there were a lot of Small parts like that, but that one always, always full. It does. Girl. It's got a lot of gems in it, right? There's uh, yeah. Little, little memorable scenes, quotable scenes, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Fred Gilly must be Italian. <laughs> Fred Gilly. Like, Fred I, Gilly. Love, I, I literally just that saw that the Fred other day. Gilly. I think my parents or something like that. I was like, there was like, something on there. They said, "Oh, fragile." I was like, "Oh, Fred Gilly." Must be Italian. <laughs> I love the like, fact when that you like, see that word, you say it. Always. Whenever, yeah. like, whenever the leg lamp would be there, Ralphie would just <laughs> run his hand up and the mom's like, "Stop doing that." <laughs> it's the glow over there. The leg lamp. Yeah, like the sex just yeah. going like, oh. and I'm like, what yeah, are you doing? Statue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I mean, yeah, it's, again, go, going on off quotable movies. I mean, like God, you just said. A lot of good so quotes in there. Quotable. From, from you know, Shuchirayo to Fragili, right? Like, yeah. those are the, like, two, two of the biggest ones. Like, yeah. it, you could be doing whatever you're, whatever you're in the middle of doing, and you see the word Fuck fragile. Fuck the bitches. <laughs> it's always, it's always Fuck Fragili. Fragili. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, yeah. and you're Shuchirayo, kid, and it, it goes yeah. on. Yeah, I, use, I must use that phrase at least once a week with my kids. Yeah. They, they have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. Can that I have this best. thing? No, you'll shoot your eye out. And they're like, what? They, How? Like, what this is like an like iPad. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you could happen. You'll shoot it's out. It's got an SD card <laughs> thing, I think. I can shoot out pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, I, but uh, again, the, the just the tongue on the pole, just that whole, that whole sequence right there, it, it just, it's, 
probably one of my favorite one parts of the whole movie. Yeah. Mm. Bruno, what about you? My favorite, it's the first scene I always think about when someone brings up that movie, is Santa Claus putting his foot <laughs> on, on, on Ralphie like, ho, 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 oh, and he pushes him down. Right, oh, kid. And I was oh, like, God oh, damn it. <laughs> it was even awesome. Santa? Even Santa just yeah. totally just disrespected. Yeah. Especially when they're waiting in line and the kid in front just keeps turning around like, I, like the I love Santa. <laughs> yeah. And they yeah. go, Face at midnight, most yeah. of us were scoffers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, I really, I think I that, like the that's hilarious. Of and then once he like once he gym, gets man. up there, he just screams, yes. and they have to throw him down the slide <laughs> as he screams. Here's the wet one. <laughs> <laughs> but that's like that, I never understood why those kids scream going down that slide. It's just a slide. It's a slide. It's it's slide. Slide. Oh, slide. Well, wait, wait till your son gets a older and he's like playing that. with other know. kids, and you just look at them. You're like, what is the issue? Yeah. And like, <laughs> kids just. They're they're all wild and and they oh, just all they yeah. do. We were at a birthday party. Yeah. Their minds yeah. just yeah. kind of yeah. go. They go, out, you know, they go nuts. Around. I was um I was chaperoning uh, one of my um when my when my first was in kindergarten, and we went to they went to like apple picking, and so I was a chaperone and and I've all I have is like. Out of the whole class, I just got like four kids to watch, and there's a bunch of parents, and they're all watching four kids. This was in the middle of the pandemic, and everybody's masked up. Um, but we're like, we're outside, so the teacher's like, you don't have to wear your mask, because we're all outside in an apple orchard. I was like, I don't know, are you sure about that? Like, these are kids, and they're kindergartners, and they're not going to understand, you know, social distancing or just... Just right. not fucking spitting in each other's face. Yeah. <laughs> so your nose and makes it pick somebody else's nose. It, it was <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was do no not, more than thirty. Amy says all the time, do not take your fingers and stick them in holes of your friends. Yeah. <laughs> you, oh, when, you, when you're a parent, you say shit. You're like, I can't believe I just thought those words came out of my mouth. <laughs> Stop touching your penis at the table. You know, like I'm like, I'm like, God damn it. We've had to do it as teachers. Yeah. We were, at 40 years old, I never thought I'd have to tell a kid, stop licking your feet on the mat. That, Literally licking the yeah. bottom of their feet. Uh -huh. like, what are you They're doing? Wild They're wild fucking animals. Please stop biting your toes. I <laughs> beg of you. They, they literally, they literally, it's crazy. So, no more than 30 seconds after I said to the teacher, are you sure we should all be unmasked here? Two kids ran up to each other. They were like, Three inches away, faces, three inches away, mouths open, screaming, just, <laughs> into each other's mouths. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And I literally face palmed and walked away. I was like, well, we're fucked. You know? <laughs> and they both had COVID the next week. It was ridiculous. It was like, out I was like, week. what is going on right now? <laughs> Where are they quarantining? They're, 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 they're animals. They are. Like, they're they're just little a different creature animals. altogether. They have no concept of like the common sense that we've learned, right? Yeah. But they have the same and abilities as their abilities. human beings. Yeah, they have all the abilities. I you go, why? How? Why? We were playing, I, I coach soccer, so we were playing, you know, we're at a game, we're at a match, and, and on um, one of the opposing coach was talking to his child going, like, John, take your hands off your penis while you're playing. <laughs> like, I never thought you'd hear that. Sorry. He was like, stop grabbing your penis. <laughs> you know what I mean? In the middle of a soccer game. From outside, you know, he wasn't obviously going down his pants, but from right. outside, you know, I'm like, Sick and I was like, I get you, man. I, I get it. You I know, I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> I mean, the, sh the shit that comes out, it's like, whoa. Yep. So anyway, that was my favorite part. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh there was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. a little boots. Oh, yeah, we're talking about the Santa suit. Oh, yeah, Santa. Yeah. Santa. Oh, yeah, Santa. yeah. yeah. Ralphie had to eat a little leather boot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Mila, what about you? What? <laughs> Your favorite part of the movie. Huh? <laughs> uh, oh, I just went blank. Um... Well, something I liked about the movie, I think it was really funny, the fact that there's, like, a man's voice, like, narrating this, like, kid's thoughts. Well, it's, well, it's supposed it's to be him older. as an adult. Oh, yeah, I it's know, and he's, like, older. older, but it's, like, the like the same thoughts. I don't yeah. know, that was something so funny. So the, the narrator was Gene Shepard, the guy who actually wrote the book. <gasps> was it really? Yeah, it's based off a book called In God We Trust God. All of This yeah. Things Cash. I actually yeah. had that book. Your mother actually gave it to me. Oh, yeah? For, yeah, she, for Christmas she gave it to me one year. Nice. I don't know what happened to it. It must be somewhere, but yeah. Sold it to the gypsies. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure right. you treasured it. sounds like you treasured it. No, I did. I read the whole thing. <laughs> the book is wildly different than the movie. Like, there's some little parts. Always, it's always. Oh, it's always. No, really? I mean, like, ridiculously I had a feeling it'd different. Be really different. There are some little parts, like the BB gun stuff, that's, like, the same. You can kind of see where it's, it was influenced. Yeah. But the rest of it is very. So different. So 
was watching this because I, like, I, <laughs> I loved it as a kid. I loved it. I loved this movie Inspired as a kid. I'm like, yeah. oh shit, I want to read the book. So I <clears throat> do that a lot. I read movie, you know, novelizations of movies and stuff like that. Obviously, this was reversed. Yeah. The movie was made from the book. I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, this is nothing like the movie I've been watching for I years. Think, I think, but it was still a really I good book. I think doing in that order makes a lot more sense. Like I, I used to be like, no, you should read the book first and then yeah. see the movie. But that only makes me mad. Like that, like, cause you're like, this is not the book. Yeah. Fuck you guys. And, right. But yeah. Now, if you see the you movie, more. you're like, oh, it was pretty good. Then you read the book, like, oh, it's just different, and you're okay wait, with wait. it. But not yeah. even just different. Like the book, because it can, will give you more. More detail. You more more details. Little, yes. so if you ever read the Princess yeah. Bride novelization? Yeah. Which is basically the movie came from the book. From the original book. No, it was almost it's almost word for word. But like except for the, the fact that you get two extra scenes, you get more of Fezzik's background yes, yeah. and more of Inigo's background. Like you actually get to go through the journey of his father making the sword and how that yeah. so like you yeah. get all that extra background, yeah. which wasn't necessarily needed for the movie. But it's fun after you've seen the movie. You can get right. a little extra background because yeah. you go read yeah. the book. Well, so but that's nice why again, yeah, that's why I think it's a good order. You. Yeah, exactly. It's a good order. Otherwise, you just but, you're just full of rage. Yeah. At least I am. But, I, but the problem with this one is I was still full of rage because it was so vastly different. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like it was just like barely little hints of the fact that he was the BB gun. Everything else was like very different. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it wasn't just like, oh, you sold me a bill of goods. Background. You did. You really did. And it was it was. But again, the book was good. It was a good book. Just. Compared to the movie, I'd rather just not connect not him at known. all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not connect him at all. So yeah. anyway, yep. Mm. Oh, good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, okay, <fine. laughs> Although, oh, one of the one of the one of the scenes that I loved was just just in general the leg scene, the leg lamp scene. You like, stuck just, on that? What yeah, no, I don't know. Who likes the leg? Look, I look, mean, who doesn't like legs? I'm trying. I was like, yeah, oh, that, I mean, it was a really funny scene, but there was, was also was there was there was also cool. the one where like you used up all the, the glue <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it broke! <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I know what happened. I was watering uh, the plants, uh, and I must have hit the lamp. <laughs> stepped on it and. <laughs> backed over with my car. Yeah, I, I mean, everything <laughs> I had to, I, I, I agree with me. It's like everything that was associated, like everything that was associated with the lamp yeah. was just great. Like, yes. Yeah, yeah, like it was yeah. just cool. Yeah. It was, it's a trophy. The fact he, that he it was there, and like he, made, he had to manage what happened to the lamp and the wife is like, I'm just going to knock it over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then he puts it right in the front window. Oh, you right should see front. it from out here. Oh, like, yeah. uh, a little bit to the left, everyone's like stopping award. by, just going like, oh my it's God. It's a major yeah. award. I don't know that. Looks like a lamp. What is a lamp, you need? So it's it's an award. I want award. it. I want it. I, yeah, I want it. They say he won it. <laughs> the yeah. fact that he like doesn't Love acknowledge really that it's like. A, like a sexy leg. I, it's just I like, love the fact it's my award. I want it. <laughs> my, one of my favorite parts with the lamp is when they go to get the Christmas tree and the wife goes back and says, hold on a second. She goes back in and only turns off the lamp. It's like, you don't want to waste electricity. Every light house is on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The upstairs, he's like, yeah. don't want to waste electricity. <laughs> she and they're already outside of the house. So. She only shuts off the lamp. Oh, yeah. She hates it that much. Yeah. We'll see, see, nowadays. I'll get deliver bowling alley here tonight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the need for Christ's sake. Nowadays, my wife is like, you can put whatever shit you want in your man cave. The yeah. rest of the house yeah. is my domain. Yeah. Yeah. And she's that like, I will decorate happens. it with, with class and dignity. That's right. And you can put that like leg lamp in your Degenerate goddamn man cave and do whatever the, the fuck you so, like, want. That's what Amy and I are wor working for, too, when we get a house. So, like, I have like, the podcasting room. It'll be the, my own man cave, things like that. And what's going to go in there? It's Christmas about 7,000 of your prop figures. Pop yeah. figures. Yeah, you're not going to have room for anything <laughs> else. All 500 some pop figures are going to go in there. And then we have enough room for a chair. One chair. Very nice. Small table. From your home. Yeah, small um, table. Tiny ass at Christmas time, I'm going to put table. my own Christmas tree down there. She's like, you can have a Christmas tree down there <laughs> with all your superhero shit all over the tree. <laughs> you get it off of my nicely decorated tree. Mm. I do. I have way too much. She's like, there's like 14 Batman on the street. What the fuck's going yeah, on here? And that it's separation of lives essentially will <laughs> save your marriage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Without a doubt. 100%. Yes. We're looking yeah. forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A little, a little inside there, Bruno. A little, uh, a little inside scoop. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Don't piss her off. Keep her happy. Yes, happy, wife, happy, happy wife, happy life. There's the, happy there's life. the balance. That's right. What was your favorite part? My favorite. Or, or maybe not even like, I, I got, maybe a, a favorite part is almost like a wrong Memor question. Memorable. Like, just what is, yeah, like, maybe memorable or, or what? See, what, that's better. I like that. Um, one one of the memorable just, parts. Just, just so like we have a new host here at, uh, for, at the, the Entertainment Rants. All right, uh, but I, I like the take part. on it. I Listen, like it. Is yeah. there a take? Yeah. I'm only kidding. Hey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Yeah, Marco, actually, this is an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I noticed all three Surprise. of you moved the fuck away. What the hell just happened? <laughs> no, because we're all Yo, we're here. We're, 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 both we're here because, because we care so about you. Turn and look at me. So they're more in line with Larry now than they were saying. So just like, like I said, so we're so here. So what? Slightly what's uncomfortable. A memorable I'll be underneath the table if you no. need me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just turn off your podcast. Hey, hey, you can't run away. You I must go ahead and speak your mind. Table. You get Here, the talking stick. Why don't stick. we move the board over a little closer? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, well, you know, 101 episodes. That's good. That's a good run. It's a good run. It's a good yeah, run. yeah, a good run. <laughs> it's a good fucking run. I love it. Yeah, I mean, it, it is, you know, there is that whole, like, the, like, the whole movie is amazing. Um, what is the most memorable part to me? I yeah. it, it, or a memorable doesn't have to be the. I most. mean the leg, yeah. the leg scene, or the leg lamp, obviously is definitely one of it for me. Uh, but I gotta say, for me, it's that Christmas day. You know, not just the the rabbit. You know, his his bunny suit, which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but, he worked so hard to make that for you. <laughs> you want to wear that thing? You remember Nicholas? Yeah, go go tell the kid to take it off because that's what it was. Dad couldn't tell him to take it. Mom had to tell yeah. him to go take it off. You could take it off until mom did. But like that that. Um, wonder of waking up. It's it's Christmas, and you get your brother up, and you run downstairs, and you start ripping through the presents and things like that. Like it definitely reminds me of when I was a kid. Now, for us, it was you. We came, we got out of our beds, we had to wait at the top of the stairs till my father finished his morning ritual, which is a twenty minute shit. And <laughs> meanwhile, the stairs led right to the bathroom, so we we're sitting right in front of the fucking bathroom. So we're getting the full effect of his morning routine. Oh. Just going out to Christmas. Like my mom will go downstairs first to make sure Santa had arrived and turn on the Christmas tree. Yep. And dad eventually would stumble down later. And then we go down and see our, you know, where our gifts were. And we had uh, Raggedy Ann and Andy doll bags, like big, huge, like garbage bags, but they were white with little Raggedy Ann mm -hmm. and Andy pictures all over. And one was my brother's and that was what was from Santa. And one was mine, one was from that. So my wife and I have this argument all the time. Uh, close your ears if you're listening, kids. So my wife and I was all the time. I Santa wrapped all of our gifts. My wife apparently Santa didn't have the time to wrap the gifts that went to her, okay. <laughs> her house, so they weren't wrapped for her. So I'm like, yeah, guess what? I'm wrapping all the gifts to Christian. Santa would be wrapping all of Santa's gifts to Christian. She's so like, <laughs> why? In my tradition, it was, and I'm like, yes. But I'm the one who's going to do the work, so what do you care? <laughs> like, no, I, I mean, I can see her point of view. So we stopped wrapping presents. What? It, what no, but let me finish. <laughs> we, we have, we have uh, gift bags. So yeah. like, like a few years ago, Amazon would send Christmas presents. If you can mark it as a Christmas present, mm -hmm. they would send it in like this really nice like drawstring bag. Mm -hmm. It was like almost like a, um, uh, like a faux... Uh, was it velvet? It was almost like a faux velvet, right? That's so, it and, 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 and that so we've got like, I don't know, because of the, that cr couple Christmases like that, we've got like twenty bags like that. Oh, so you just and so we just bags. throw them in there, and they they pull them out, and then we just put them away, and then next Christmas Santa delivers in the same bags again. I mean, that makes perfect sense. And, 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 and then what do? Huh? We're shipping these back to the North Pole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we send these back to Santa, yeah. and then uh, and then one we're not dealing with the six hundred pounds of paper at the end of the day, and, and two I'm not I don't I don't feel like I'm killing six trees, and then the three it's like it's Seriously. fucking super easy like that, that, you know for the right. kids I'm, I'm on that. for the kids to unwrap it yeah. it's a pain as now. a youngin as as <laughs> someone who has uh, uh, opened young. presents semi recently um no <laughs> it's like week. i don't know there's some magic about like pulling apart the paper and going like what is it what is it possibly I'm gonna be Mila. instead of just going like open oh yeah. it's this move I'm on a, next thing no. you know you know there's just some father. sort of magic to like, what could it be what could it be you know totally all, well, I, no yeah so there's also a frustration that happens when your kids are like two and three and four and can't Oh, tear oh yeah, that's bags, that'd be annoying. Tear them, tear them open, and but so that's when you help them. It no, but you know what? Yeah, that's what it would end up happening. We'd wrap all these presents, that. and then you know my son would be like, "Oh my god, a present!" And like he can't get, he can't doesn't understand like how to open a present the easy way, like to find the edge. And how and many like, pieces of tape are you using? Three tapes is all you need. Hey, three I tape. wrap it in three. tape. Yo, <laughs> that's the problem. It's, it's like three tapes. tapes. No, but like, yeah. not paper. It's no, just he's got one. It's yeah, it's uh, cellophane. He's pulling. Three. There's stretches. He's stretching like son of a bitch. Yeah. No, but yeah, I would end up opening. People. I would end up opening these packages that I wrap for him, and I'm like, what am I doing? Well, yeah, well, it, this is well, not the same. And I would suspect that you're. You feel like open, ripping open this present makes sense because that's just what you did as yeah, a kid, right? Me too. And and 
if they, if they learn that like my kids honestly they don't give a shit about the wrapping they literally grab it and throw it yeah. and then they're like toys well, yeah, how do I get, get into this off, box of matter. toys I think, but I think they'll probably like in a year or so when you're old this is what two or three my oldest is seven oh, he's, seven. Turning, he's turning seven yeah he should already okay no so like so, he like, could, like, like in he could mind, open it like, now you could definitely right, open like it in now in my mind it's like you know as, well, a, like, as, a, as a little little like they can't figure it out yeah and two and three it was a like, pain right, in the ass yeah, my yeah. Son, so they, this will be our just, first ooh. test this year because Christian's two Right. Yeah. Not quite two and a half. Anyway, yeah, half. So you'll we'll see. see. He's going to have a tough time. But that's okay. I'll be right there with him. No, I understand. But then you are going to be opening the presents that that's you okay. wrapped, and that's what I'm saying. Like, so, that's like, why I enjoy opening presents. No, that's fine. <laughs> so, I just don't want to. I totally understand. I, 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 totally I felt so, like yeah, I'm not arguing with you because I totally understand. I get it. I get it. Two weeks his own. If you watch a Christmas story and you watch them unwrapping those gifts and how they're tearing through the paper, and I did that as kids. We did that. Magical part of my Christmas. I get it. And I want to do the same thing for Christian. So I actually got him a. A large Santa bag. It's felt like with a like the puffy white yeah, thing awesome. with a drawstring. So it looks like this bag Santa carries. I got it at the Christmas yeah. tree shop. So that'll be his bag from Santa. Great. And then just yeah. put all your toys in there. He's not going to give a fuck. No, he's going to get them wrapped. <laughs> got to have them wrapped. You go open that bag. It's a bunch of wrap gifts. Because otherwise, it's like if you just open the bag, it's too you can see all the gifts, all yeah. the what it is at once. It's like one felt. Surprise, and that's instead it. of like a reveal, I reveal another reveal. I can reveal like so I have a bunch of different bags. So I guess what until we do. you like uh, figure it one, out. One Santa bag with everything wrapped. It's like my mother was nuts. I'm not sure I'm gonna go with my mother's, but like I got GI Joe toys. She wrapped almost every single figure individually. Oh my! As I got older, she wrapped two together. She backed the bag front to front yeah. them because it made it a little easier because it turned into like almost like uh, a almost rectangle. Like a box, yeah. But yeah. The originally, she wrapped, and there's like 20 to 25 figures Jesus. per line. She'd wrap every single My father's like, what the fuck are you doing? Wrapped, <laughs> plus then the vehicles, and the, 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 there was a ton of stuff in there. It was stuff small, like that you so grouped together a little like, bit. At that time, figures were like two or three bucks. Right now, yeah. obviously, they're a lot more. But at that time, they're two or three dollars a figure, and she wrapped every goddamn one of them individually. Mm. Yeah, my grandmother would do the same thing, like mm. at her house. My mother's mother, not my not my father's mother. Imagine how much none that had the, the pajama club, and now you were good to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pajama, it was always pajamas. Yeah. You're pajama always gonna get a new pair of pajamas from Nona. I know, except for the year, like I think I didn't get a pair. I was very left out of the club. I felt really bad. Yeah. I mean, you, I mean you Billy did. You Billy got left out. out one year. You made out, yeah, essentially. <laughs> she gave me cash. Check it out. He's gonna go buy. Well, she knew because I don't wear pajamas. Yeah, don't buy me pajamas. I don't wear. Them. It just feels weird to me to go out and buy six rolls of paper to wrap presents to then throw it all away the next day after the kids open them up. Oh, it's my favorite. Part. It just feels really wasteful. But I also enjoy the zen of wrapping pa- wrapping gifts. Mm. Like I'm, as you can imagine, shut up, Mila. I'm very meticulous about my wrapping. Mm-hmm. Like I'm super like meticulous. <laughs> like like every you? edge is double folded. Like it folds over, so you don't see the edge of the cut paper. You see the edge of the folded paper, and it's three pieces of tape center and one on each side. That's all you do. But I like I go so far as to most of the time match the design. When you mm-hmm. fold it over, you can see it's almost a seamless design. If there's like you know Pooh Bear, yeah, it almost matches up with the other. It's funny when I wrap. When I wrap, it's funny when I wrap gifts like for my sisters or something. <clears throat> it, I'm the shittiest one at it. Like, oh, I'm like so bad. my my little sister's like super super careful with it. My older sister is kind of like you know a little more careful, and I'm just like. Like, I still use, like, three pieces of pit tape, but I'm like, maybe I should use it more. But I'm like, oh, yeah. And it's like, the top is, like, relatively smooth. And then every other Relative. side of it is crumpled. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, it's do you perfect. Just, do you just wrap everything in a giant ball of paper? <laughs> and the thing is in the middle of it. Ta-da! <laughs> it honestly, if it's flipped the wrong way, it kind of looks like you, that. Like, use the force. So when I, like, as I got older, and, like, I was in my late teens and early 20s, and I was in my mother's house, I would wrap all the gifts for everybody except for myself. Like my mother's gifts to me were the only ones I didn't wrap. I wrapped everything to my brother, to you know my father, right. um, my father. Whatever happened. That me was your stuff. job. That was my job because I loved wrapping. And my father was that meticulous when he would help her. He was super meticulous about how he wrapped it. That's kind of where I learned how to do it. So I just really enjoyed. It. My mother would always fix the boxes with the clothes in it. That's I hate doing that part of it. And then she would put it all together. Okay, this is what the boxes now. Wrap it. And so we do the same thing now. Amy and I do the same thing. Right. Whenever we have like a party or a birthday or something like to do, we went to your kids' party. Like the, the wrapping, it's for me. You can guarantee that we are wrapping. It, it's me. <laughs> so now, you know. now you know. Now I know. So let me know. Critique it next time. Give me. A, give okay. Me a I will be. I will <laughs> be. Okay. No, you're like you know the, the you know the, the design on this. It's a was little fun. Exactly. Two out of ten would not recommend. Oh my god! <laughs> Shit, how do I get that off Google? <laughs> you can't, brother. It's like penis swimming pool. Oh. It's, in there. it's in there. All right. So that's uh, so a Christmas story, the original, right? We have Ralphie. He's dead set on getting his Red Rider BB gun. 
Nobody wants him to have it. He goes through the, the, the trials of trying to find ways to, to get into his mother's subconscious, to get his way to get it, these ideas of what's going to help him do and defend his home, right, against the marauders, which I think yep. was great, because in the next movie, it brings it back. So let's go into A Christmas Story Christmas. We're now 30 years later. So, okay. Nostalgia that, that, part that, two. That's what I was trying to figure out. Like, it looked like it takes place in the 70s. It does, right. Because the original's in the 40s. Does it? Is, yes. Yeah. yeah. The original's no, it, in the can, 40s it can't be the 70s, the 70s though, because the car that they drove over. So let's talk about that, because you're right. There's some dishes That was a janky car, yeah. so, right, car. But I think that was just, well, I think it was well, just was an old Well, it was also an old clunk a junk a no, like, nasty yeah. car. I was alive in the 70s. They weren't like that anymore. It was That, was, that car was no, like, no. like late 50s. No, no, but I'm saying that that's what but it he was. Had like an older, he, he just he, had the, an the old car. The movie takes place in the 70s. He just had an old car. Oh, oh wow. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense? Because I think that that's what I remember that it was an old POS, but I don't remember. Okay, yeah. I mean, no for nothing, what year is your car? My current car? Yeah, your current oh, car. It's a 2019, 2020. Oh, why don't you just fancy? <laughs> I saw that no, coming. I just like, you I saw that coming. Yeah, I, I know. Get, 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 get sorry. I know, but like, how old's your car? Probably no more that, than 10-ish, it, it, right? No, it's actually 2018, too. Okay, so. But, oh, actually, you know what? Well, mine's my, 2011. The, the, the so. truck that I, right, my, so there's, a, that's there's 11, an old car. Yeah, that's 10 years. But you're not an adult with a family. Right, where you're, you're, you're still a, you know, you're so young and you're still thinking, like trying to save money. I'm thinking that he, he just did because he wasn't working either. So right. that was, so I think that he just had the old, yeah. he just, you know, beat car. That, he was like, it's twenty. But, but yeah. my truck okay, was two thousand four. So, so let's, I, let's, I, but let's, yeah, but, but let's take it You sold it in twenty eighteen. Right? Hold on, but a truck one is also not, useful, right? It's not like you're driving. Yeah, one thing we're not taking into account is. In that time period, unlike today, you didn't lease cars. You had your car forever, this and you sure fixed it yeah. a lot. Especially if you didn't have a lot of money to get a new car reform. I mean, how often do you I mean, get a new car? car right? would have been I, I leased years my old. car, but yeah. I, yeah, but they but they were a there was an American made. It was built to last back then. Not today's cars, not the eighties and beyond. Like those right. cars started to turn into real shit. But back Plastic. then, the sixties, the fifties, yep. the seventies, it was, it was cars were meant to last, and and they weren't all electronic. So you go get it fixed, and that was kind of the whole part of this movie, right? He needed the what was it? The, the, the radiator, radiator, the radiator yeah. right? His father was always on the, you know, the the, therm the thing. Was this like common knowledge to y'all that you would crack an egg the and egg. stick no. it in the radiator? Because I, I was no, like, I, no I was like, why do I keep discovering where like random I ass no, shit? I, no, I, no <laughs> idea. I still don't know if that's actually true. <laughs> I neither do I. We're still going to look it up because I have no idea. Thing, like, so when I was I, watching I hope it, that might have been made up. Yeah, I was like, I was like, that doesn't seem healthy because like when it cooks, it would. You know, it goes to like where the cracks are. Yeah. Well, I mean, I get because like, it's trying to escape and then right. it, and it gels. And it just, but then what happens to that later? Again, you just gonna you put you, a, you throw three or four well, in no, your no, radiator no, and you, you fuck see, the whole thing but up. But then you, you can't know, be she, right. She she opened up the the glove compartment and, and there was like a dozen. There was a carton of. They had gone through a whole carton. There was like half a carton. Yeah. And I'm like, if you end up putting a carton of eggs worth of eggs in your radiator over the course of like a week, you're fucked. That radiator's done. There's no way. Yeah. So it's not like it goes away or burns car. off. It's just, I mean, you're, it, maybe there's no does. way that can be real. Yeah, oh, I was like, like, I was like, 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 the phone goes, I was like what the hell it. kind of I Midwest? But don't forget, think of, <laughs> think of 70s radio, 50s, like whenever the car was supposed to be made. 60s <laughs> yeah. radiators. Kind you know of what 50s I mean? Midwest cars are they driving? Right? <laughs> So the second movie, it definitely place, takes place in the 70s. You can tell by like their clothing and their background, the house decorations. I know that. They were supposed to be, quote unquote, like in their 30s. Yeah. Right? They look uh, so much older. They were supposed no, to be in their 40s. 30s? So no, in their 40s? No, they were 40 because in the first movie he was around. Right, right, yeah, there was, no, was, oh, there was no chance they were I thought, I thought maybe it was... I thought that that movie was supposed to take place in the 50s. That's what threw yeah, me off. And that, so it was the 40s. So, mm -hmm. okay, that makes sense. Yeah. It's because they just looked old. Like, in my yeah. mind, I'm like, wow, you guys like look old yeah. for trying to portray a younger age than what they clearly are. Right, right, right. right so, yeah. so in the second movie, the old man's dead. That's and true. And obviously Darren McGavin has passed away, yeah. so that's I, one of the reasons I they really did that. I really liked how they did Wouldn't that. Wouldn't it be funny if he did so, so a quick update before we go down that yeah. road. Um, and, and as I suspected, it really should be an extremely last resort. Like, as they write in this article, <laughs> like, if you're in the middle of the desert and you had one bottle of water between your car and yourself and the radiator is empty and for some reason you have an egg, then you could try to clog the leak with an egg. It could work temporarily. 
But what would would happen after you get your radar properly fixed? The egg could have ruined your heater core or coagulated egg stuff could be lodging itself everywhere. So if he had used it one time, I would have bought it. But he was like, this goes through eggs like left and right. He uses it all the time. It looked like every time they were in the car, they had to put Don't put an egg in your radiator. Don't put an egg in your radiator. Don't put an egg in your radiator. Okay, I'm glad it wasn't just me because I was like, is this something that me as a young generation would just never understand like oh we just cracking eggs and putting cars on I, I, I had I'm that like, same thing. I was I'm like, like I, I missed yeah. something yeah I looked at it I was like really I thought I had a pretty good idea of how things were going like back then it's a terrible idea it's horrible it's horrible I was like that can't happen. be good for the car no, and clearly it's not yeah, yeah. so in this, the new movie takes place as we said 30 years later the old man has passed away like right before Christmas <laughs> God love is gonna really really mar up Christmas for this kid again yeah um and he has to go home to where he grew up. Same house. They use the same house. Yeah. Um, and they, he has to basically come to terms with the fact that his father's passed away. And he's tasked, he's a writer, still trying to write a book that gets sold the whole time. And, and he, instead he's writing this dog shit book. It's just horrible. <laughs> no and one likes. And a sequel to it that nobody wanted the original. <laughs> yeah. He's only like, writing oh, a sequel to it, which I thought was weird and funny at the same time. So he's charged with writing the eulogy for the old man, which ends up turning yeah. out to be a story. And he sells that story by the end of it. Um, we have a lot of the original actors had come back. Obviously, the original yeah, Ralphie. Pretty much almost everybody. Came. Almost everybody yeah, except, except for the, for the mom. mom. The mom um, was Melinda Dillon has retired. She retired is, in 2007. Is, is that what it was? Okay. No, she retired oh, okay. in 2007 from acting, so she wasn't available to come back. She's still alive, but yeah. I mean, she's like in her 80s. Yeah. Or I mean, why wouldn't she reprise her role anyway? Just a one-time thing. She's in her 80s, I believe, so it's, yeah. you know, Get off knows? the couch, Grandma. Go <laughs> <laughs> make, we'll make a penny. I don't know a what sort of state she's in in terms yeah. of that, that, that's, that's what I was no, wondering. No, I'm just kidding. Her. She's a, I was surprised I had anybody. You know? Yeah, I mean, it's you know, it's such it was such a big role. Um, yeah. in, in the movie that it was just Mama so like Parker. quick it was just a quick like oh there's mom and let's move on right. and maybe she could have just done a guest appearance or a cameo she was a major part of the movie so to have her record an entire movie like that probably would have been too taxing yeah. um, but yeah. they got uh, Julie Haggerty <laughs> who I thought was a weird she's, choice but no, she's good great. She was I, thought good. She she was great. I thought she did a great job yeah, yeah, yeah. it worked yeah it yeah. totally worked for me well I mean, she's she, also like she's got a touch of the crazy right so like oh, yeah. always she, had a touch she of the plays crazy. that really well oh, yeah. from airplane airplane yeah yeah, she's always she got just to enough crazy. to go. Oh, yeah. She did. Yeah. <laughs> she had the old lady crazy going on. And it was perfect. A little, yeah. little bit of kookiness. So we get the original <laughs> flick. We get the original um, Schwartz. Schwartz. And we the, get the original, original Scott, uh, Farkas. Scott. Yeah. yeah. Um, Grover. Do we get the original Grover? I don't, I don't think, think so. I don't think we got the original no. Grover. Um, I, I think as far as like the originals, I think that was it. It was and Randy. Was and Randy. Randy. That, Randy, I thought was well underused. I thought, I was super underused. I was like the that was that was He's that the brother that was like often where were they was. Yeah, he was in India. Yeah, he was in India. Yeah, India or something like that. So they came in at the very. I loved I loved him in the first Christmas story. Like the kid. I'm surprised they didn't utilize him more in this movie. I was just like it kind of was a throwaway for me. Like that was to me one of the disappointing parts of the movie was that yeah Randy wasn't. It more, yeah. You know I mean, mean, the whole movie was a was a, a eulogy for Darren McGavin, I thought. Right, that's yeah. essentially. We just saw two eulogies already this year. Yeah. Right. I, mean, yeah. was, I felt like it was a hidden eulogy for. It was just. Yeah. It was all about him. I thought that was okay. Like it was a nice. I, tribute. Also, I liked how they did. Yeah, it, yeah. Was, an, it yeah. was. It was well done yeah. in that regard. It wasn't. It wasn't. It didn't feel like it was jammed down my throat because they also. It wasn't like that was the entire run of the movie. No, it was the entire was, run of the movie. It was. I'm well, sure no, that was that was that was important, but like there was also like a whole bunch of scenes that that. That wasn't what I mean, was it was going Ralphie on right trying now. to come to terms with him you know? and being a writer and it, do, doing right, being able to basically take over making Christmas amazing because that's what his father would do. Right. It was, right. it was, it was like, a hand off. Weird. His father yeah. was a lunatic, but he held his father in such a high regard and put him on such a pedestal that he was the guy who like made Christmas amazing for them. Yeah. Which. Other than like getting the tree and stuff like that, he was kind of a pain in the ass. Like, well, I mean, original, you're looking. Like, remember, you're looking at it from Ralphie's perspective, right? Yeah. Everybody loved the dad. He, you know, so he thought he loved his dad. Yeah. And so everything his dad did was amazing and wonderful, and he just had to, that memory of him. Yeah. Um, so I thought that was kind of cool. The only thing that I didn't really dig, and I, I don't, I don't think I'll ever come to terms with the fact that somebody might call him, you know, I might jokingly refer to my dad as the old man. Yeah. But like, I can't ever. I would never like. 
I would I never call him a, my old man. Uh, no, but I think that's a um, like a Midwestern. I think that's like a, a regional thing where people like do that. They call like the old man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the old. He's my old man. No, like I get that, yeah, where, like where it is yeah. and where it's coming from. Also I just don't. Be, I just don't like uh, that reference. Like, yeah. I'd rather be like my dad, my father, my pops, yeah. whatever. It's just my old man. It doesn't seem. But they did that in the old days. That, that seems too. like that seems like it'd be a regional thing, though. I wouldn't refer you know, to like a father. pop instead of soda. No, but like, I wouldn't refer to yeah, a father exactly, that I exactly love right. as my old man. I'd the refer to him as my dad words. or my pop or my yeah. father or something like that. It and maybe that's feel just like, an Eastern thing. It doesn't feel like an endearing way to to refer to somebody. But for them, it is. The thing is, if I see it through their eyes, it does for me. I'm like, yeah, that's fair. Larry's gonna look it up. No, no, no. He's looking it up in the the brain pattern. I'll do with Larry. No, I just. I, I guess I'd never put like real thought into the whole old man thing. Yeah, I, same. I I, I'm like, I, don't I, don't think know. It, I think it's more of a culture thing, to be honest with you. I don't think yeah. it's a reach. That. I think it's more of could a be. culture yeah, thing. Yeah, you, you could be you right. Know, we, yeah. You know, we, I, I feel that. I hear that all the time. Me being Portuguese and you being Italian, we kind of have that same kind same of culture, European yeah. culture. So, yeah. like, we would, I, you're right. I would, I would never, never call my dad the million. old man. Yeah. But I have friends that call their father, hey, old man. Yeah. Old so, it's like, I, yeah. I think it's a culture thing. Yeah, I don't think you it's could a Because right. it's the same with me. I never, right. I never call my dad my old man. <laughs> like, yeah. I've never called him that. But, like, you know. I, I same as you, Larry. Like I've seen, I've heard it before. I've yeah, heard many. A, I, I know a ton of people that say my old man. Not a yeah. ton, but like but I, it, I've run into it. You know, it's not. It's, it's you, not. You've heard it enough that when you do hear it, you're not like, what the hell does that even? Like, yeah. you don't get it. You well, don't go, let me uh, clarify. Uh, it's not. It's not that I'm saying I never heard it. I've heard it plenty. Like, right. right. It's just something it's you more don't, like you don't like. You know, I. I wouldn't refer to somebody I cared about you just as my old man. Yeah. If you're if you're just like ribbing, like ah, my old man, I love you guys, or whatever, yeah. blah blah blah. But like, I wouldn't be like ah, my old man, I love that guy. You right. know, you know, yeah. I'd be like ah, my dad or yeah. my father or my pops or my papa or something, right? Papa, mm. yeah, papa, yeah. papacita. Yeah, <laughs> that's different. That's what we hope to. <laughs> that just got weird. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now we're talking pronouns. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so I know, but I get what you're saying. It is. Yeah, it's, it's just it was just a sort of a reaction I had to yeah. his his lovingly ref, ref, his loving reference to his dad as old man as old man was was it didn't uh, it didn't fit for me. It right. didn't feel like. But the they right. used that in the original movie. They did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's their term for the father. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Started back in the 1800s. I just looked up like back in 1854 was kind of like the first recorded yeah. like did in English they would refer to the father as the old yeah. man. Hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're yeah. sort of like where fathers refer to their wife as my old lady. Yeah, and, that, and that's which to me is way worse. Yeah, no, that is, yeah. That yeah. is yeah. way worse. I also age. hear that way worse. It should be like sweet cheeks or something like that. Right, honey yeah. bunches, honey something bunches. like that. But like uh, <laughs> sugar, sugar tits, sugar tits, <laughs> sugar tits. So, have you guys seen? Have you guys seen Peacemaker? <laughs> yes. No, I've not. Oh, I finally God. got to watch it. Like, yeah, there's it's, nothing about that that makes me go, "Ooh, I want to watch." I, I just, I yeah, watched same. it. Yeah, I'm like, wait, was it good? Watch it. I watched it to watch it. No, it's funny. You say that like I'm going to watch it. <laughs> no, it's the it's, funny thing is, I'm probably not going to watch. No, you, you don't have to. And I, I wasn't going to watch it until my buddy was like, "I'm coming over tonight, and we're going to watch the first episode." Well, that ought to do. That's and, the only uh, way I'm going like, to watch it. All right, this okay. Show. And uh, and then we did, and uh, and I was like, "Oh, this is hilarious!" Like so John the first episode. Cena. John Cena is his delivery is really good, and it's just kind of goofy, and he makes fun of himself, and it's yeah. it's a total he's shitting on the character, yeah. Um, and but it's in a in a fun way, so yeah. it's entertaining. I'm not so saying it's quality it's to a peacemaker review. It's not <laughs> quality television, but it's entertaining television. Yeah. Okay. Uh, see, if that, I'm looking for something, I'm looking for. I'm looking yeah. for entertaining. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So on the topic, entertaining is She-Hulk. Is she Hulk? Oh, uh, is she Hulk? Oh, just, oh, oh, there's just a dumpster oh, fire. We cannot get away from the episode without talking about that. The only fire. thing entertaining about I mean, that was watching the, that the other YouTube videos shitting on what. On the oh my god! No, the so only, that's the only entertaining thing about it. I laugh, I laugh about for it on the podcast. I, I laugh constantly watching Peacemaker. It's okay. funny. Wait, She Hulk or Wheels of Time? Oh, no. <laughs> wow, whoa, wow. 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 wow, Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Island, you can only place. pick one of the two. <laughs> You can only pick one to what? To trash or to, to watch? <laughs> to watch. Like, which one you watch and which one you trash? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, no. Uh, I'd have to, I guess, I guess, I begrudgingly have to say Wheel of Time. You're watching Wheel of Time? I'll watch Wheel yeah. of Time over That's she fair. Listen. I can that, see that. That, that says a lot about She Hulk because I'm sure that it's, recorded. Anybody, it's well recorded. It's, it's well yeah. recorded how much you absolutely despise Wheel of Time. I do. So. Yeah. I, well, no, no. I hate their incarnation of the movie, the, the <laughs> right, TV right, not, series. Not the books, not the books. The books, not the books. Are, I think one of the reasons I hate the TV so much is because the books were so good. And so, um, 
you know, the books have their own problems. I'm not saying they're perfect, but they were well done right. and they made so many changes. And I think that's that's what irritates me. Yeah. But like She Hulk She Hulk has so Table many other problems. She Hulk like, is just It's just bad writing. It's bad <laughs> Bad writing, bad characters, character. bad scenes, that's even the, like, bad use of characters. If we ever do a She Hulk show, <laughs> I'll go into it. I don't think deeper. we need to because we've talked about it so many we've times. We've shat on it in several oh, different ways. Oh, like like so it's taken a few podcasts for us to thoroughly shit on this. <laughs> if you combine the She Hulk talk over the last ten episodes, it's we've got an hour. Yeah. Yeah. we have an hour. Almost two. Yeah, almost two. Recut. <laughs> I mean, the fact that at the end of She Hulk, they made her go out, like break the fourth wall, and like leave, and then talk to, and then rewrite her own show. Yeah. Well, if you think it sucks so bad, your writers wrote it. Like. <laughs> I don't know. Never mind. It's funny. They even dragged my, like, Daredevil's my favorite superhero. They even dragged him into it and made did. him suck. They I'm dragged like, him into it because they were yo! trying to make they were trying to make it better. They were trying to, like, improve yeah. and then they, rating. Instead of, instead of improving the show, him. they actually, like, I'm made just, Daredevil worse. I just turned to a yeah. She-Hulk episode. Yeah. 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 Anyway, back anyway. to a Christmas Story Christmas. It's a hot, it's a hot button Christmas issue Christmas Story here. Peacemaker She-Hulk. <laughs> wow. wow. That's that a rabbit back hole Back to and Christmas half. Story. You're welcome, so everybody. So, yeah, I really liked when he, uh, the, the Santa for scene. Me, <laughs> for me, the second ho, ho, movie... Ho, ho, The second movie didn't hold the same magic, and I understand it will never. The reason, though, the original movie is told through the eyes of a kid... And it brings you back to when you're being a kid. Yeah. The second movie is just a sludge of being an adult, dealing with adult problems and your dead father and be all the issues you have as an adult trying to cope with having a family and trying to do right. It's like, yeah, I'm already doing that every day. Like, I don't and really stressing need to. about Christmas stuff to make it that. perfect. You know? I want to see a happy Christmas movie. I had to make myself finish watching the movie so that we could do the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, I did I, not. So I'm, so I'm glad I did I, not I want to watch. My tongue on this. Thing. I was 15 yeah. minutes in and I was like, God damn it! I got another like hour to well, go. Was that, was a quick movie though? Was it? Yeah. it was, oh, yeah. Yeah. I know, but yeah. like, movie it's for every me. single minute you're watching a movie you don't want to watch. You're like, this is the worst. Like I, like to me, it wasn't a bad movie like I thought what they oh, did I, I felt like the yeah. nostalgia portion mm. of the movie but the story and having to watch his adult you know form deal with these daily troubles that mm. we all freaking deal with it's like yeah this that's not a happy Christmas movie for me yeah they yeah, were it was, me, a lot I, of, it was a lot I of callbacks it. Christmas mm. movie I liked it as a movie but like I didn't like I didn't get any like Good warm fuzzy I, feeling I from it at all. Yeah. But, I know like, why. I liked, so so I, you know so why? I wasn't like I wasn't like oh I, I gotta turn this off. Like I liked it. I liked the movie, but like like it just doesn't feel there, like a Christmas. There were movie no that warm and fuzzies in that one <laughs> because it what they didn't do enough for like to develop the warm and fuzzy, and then they just threw a whole bunch of like same old shit in there. Like when at the end where he did triple dog dared him to ride the ramp. Who? Are you kidding me? That yeah. was like, that was Christmas Story 1, right? Yeah. That was kids being kids and no grown adult. No, <laughs> not double, triple dog daring any of you yeah. to do anything stupid. Yeah. Like, yeah. Marco, yeah. if you were like a like, triple dog daring, yeah. I'd be like, uh, fuck off. How yeah, old are you? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're not, we're not yeah. seven not, anymore, yeah, like, right? Catch me 30 years ago, I'll take you there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, you like, years ago. Like, but, but he did Even that now to for me, I'm bar like, tab. <laughs> so that was... I mean, I was that's like, a okay, different... Yeah. But, but like, he got up there and was like, oh, fuck, uh, uh, fuck this. I'm not, not going to kill myself. Yeah. And then he goes like, triple dog dare. He's like, well, now I got to do it. No, no you don't. Do You're a goddamn adult. Right? Maybe instead <laughs> like, of saying triple dog dare... You bar tab for the last 30 years. Yeah, it didn't bother you or anybody else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it felt really done. Like, all the... It was very tropey. Like, they threw every fucking... Christmas trope I, in there. So, the Christmas I, story trope from the original. Oh, the right. thing is, yeah. I'm, I don't mind when they do nostalgia things like that. But there wasn't it just, enough it Christmas felt, it, in it for right, me. Right, but it felt kind of right. forced. Like, yes. it wasn't like... Yeah. Oh. yeah. It was a bunch of scenes thrown together instead of a well yeah. sewn together it, movie, it, it, right? Like, you know, mm. you bring in Ralphie, his wife, and his kids, who are going through bullshit with now Fli um, uh, Scott Farkas' kids, kids yeah. which is okay. I mean, we all saw that coming. We knew it was going to be Farkas' kids. That were, yeah. You know, yeah. We're like, oh anyway. my God, there's what? A, there's, a, there's, a, there's a fucking surprise. And you kind of knew Scott Farkas was going to turn around and be like, you yeah. know, you, you, you would hope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah once he gets coming. in the, the police car, you're like, oh no, he's turned around, he's changed. He's yeah, fine. you, you kind of saw that coming a little bit. But, but like, let, let's yeah. back that up. He was like, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. I was borrowing this thing. All right. Well, get in the police car. I'm going to drive you home so we can leave your car here. Yeah. yeah. Like that, that's 
Thank and that's you. Why oh my god, you're right. Yes. Oh my god, he dropped him off. I, and I, was, I was like, where the fuck's his car? Yeah. Why did you? Why didn't you just fucking put him in the so car? Give him the car and take go home. And then he goes, oh, thanks, and walks all the way back and then gets his car. It was just a way for them to have a discussion and then have the nervousness of like, oh shit, I'm gonna get arrested. I know. Yeah. They could have done that in front of they the place done, and had that could conversation. Have been done and, differently. Yeah. Yes. No, they yes. could have had it at right there on the curb talking to him. Get back in your car and get could out of here. Could have been better here. writing. Right. I'm sending you yeah. home. Better writing. Better writing. Thank you. Thank I, you. Uh, uh, true, true, true. This is like well, another well, one I thought I, did, I, did, I, didn't think, I didn't think the writing was horrible. I just thought it was lazy, right? Like, oh, it was lazy. I, it was very tropey. They threw a lot of tropey things into it. The original movie was based on the book, and the original writer had a lot to do with the original movies. Gene Shepard was still alive, and so he had a lot of. Right. say in the original movie and he's yeah. dead now so there was no chance he was going to do that for this movie so you weren't going to get that same quality I think you know what I mean I, think, I, mean, I don't I think, think, think a bunch of people who watched it as a kid like we did yeah. who wrote this movie mm. yeah you know and, and I mean? it was a trip down memory lane and they brought back a lot of callbacks from yeah. you know stuff you'd expect right. or stuff you could watch like you watch this movie I watched it and was like oh yeah that's from the original yeah. and then when he was in the attic and the, you see the bunny costume awesome. you yeah. know like all right, so like, all right, these are all right like, that's cool yeah, that's I, I, get was, it. I was kind of hoping yeah, sprinkle it in but I was kind of hoping for a little more screen time of the BB gun right right no if somebody had gotten in the bunny more, that would have like, been whatever. too much. Yeah. But for opening it and seeing the box, that's perfect, right? Yeah. That was a good yeah. touch. Yeah. Good touch. But like, why was he writing in the attic? That was weird. Yeah. Right? And then... Maybe that was no, the waste not. space. I don't no, know. Yeah. No, no right. it's not really that weird. I've heard of people that do that before. Like, they go yeah, into the basement of their attic and have a writing house. Like, section. then they went up into the attic and then he started writing in the attic. I thought that was a Well, there was already well, that, a desk that, there, there so it doesn't seem... So the thing is, he had to have... Light in the kitchen. He had to have lived there, you know? You need that solitude. Yeah. All right. You need, like, a solitude. His old type His old type Yeah. So he'd already been writing there. You don't be up your ass the whole time when you're trying to, like... That's true. That's when you just get the it would be just dad, dad, yeah. dad. Like, this is yeah, get away from me. Mm. So yeah. you had to have a little solitude. But I, you know, I get that. But I also get what you're saying. So there was a lot of the tropes. There's a lot of like just the throwbacks. And you know, some of them were fun. And some of them were definitely forced. But there just wasn't really any Christmas joy in this yeah. Christmas yeah. movie. I agree yeah. with you. you have kids. Well, it's because they're mourning the death kids. of their dad. That's yeah, but you hard. have two kids in this movie. And like Christmas Day kind of comes and goes. And you still don't get that original. Like the original movie, when they finally hit Christmas Day, and you've seen him go through all this bullshit. And you get that Christmas Day, there's a shit ton of joy. Yeah, but that's a Christmas gifts. movie. This was just a eulogy. <laughs> right, that's what I mean. It, it, but it has the word Christmas in it twice. <laughs> so, yeah. like, you know, it's Christmas yeah. story, Christmas. And it really wasn't it much wasn't about Christmas. Christmas. It, it, it was, more, like was a, more of a Christmas movie. It was more like a Christmas story story. Story. Yeah. <laughs> Good. A Christmas Mirage. story. Nice. But, here's, but here's the thing, though. Nice. But here's the thing, though. In, the, in this whole Christmas story story, they bring it all right at the end where he's like, man, I, I don't have any goddamn presents or whatever. Yeah. And then they go down and all the presents are there. And that- it's like... And he was like, what the hell is this? And yeah. she was like, that was a whole day of sex the, machina right there. The, the, yes. this was I was like, like, they never even got the presents yet. They didn't even like, yeah. I don't oh, know, shovel, shovel dad, lawns. Or I forget, something. how did they get the presents Dad went back? Christmas shopping and didn't tell anybody. No, they didn't. No, there was, there, the, father the, the, the father had already had bought them, them all. Had already oh, in the basement. Oh, that's right. The old so man they, had yeah, bought them. So when it yeah. comes that down. That was definitely an ex machina move. Exactly. That was another lazy writing thing. So I'm like, oh, come on. Okay. Yeah. That's right. The old man or whatever Bruno wants to call him. The real presents were the ones we made a so <laughs> speaking of like re- the presents in the first movie it, they were all was, wrapped really nice by the way yeah they were <laughs> they were fake um, in the first movie they were wrapped perfectly the, by whole, my standards. the whole movie is him trying to get the BB gun right like yeah. that's yeah. what it's all around yeah right. I didn't get that the hair he goes no, I want the sled the, right. the, the, the okay. kid got the sled I'm like yeah. what the fuck it's a sled dude you're, you're like 16 years old and this is what you wanted? A sled? Well, they already did the car version. Not even like. Second, like the, the sequel. Oh, like, where Ralphie gets a car. Like in the, the, right. the now forgotten about sequel. Yeah, but, but, but again, but like I didn't, I didn't get. I didn't, and 17, that's probably what they'd be looking for. I didn't, I didn't time. get the the one big present that the kid wants. Yeah, so. it's just, there wasn't a lot of Christmas joy yeah. in this movie. Yeah. That's what made me I, sad I about it. It was joyless. Especially the fact that they kept joyless, breaking joyless limbs experience. and gouging eyes or something. That might be why I wanted to turn it off. It was yeah, joyless. It could be. <laughs> this might joy. make your list. So in the next episode, no we're going to talk about, we're going to do our Christmas movies and things that we like. We're going to do that in the next episode. So look forward to that. This might make somebody's list. Looking at nobody in particular, Bruno. And uh, <laughs> this, no, this movies, we, movies we do not watch. This ever. will be the movie I don't watch. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. We're gonna yeah. talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. We're, gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about Christmas movies yeah. we like and Christmas movies we don't like. Yeah, we'll go over both and things you don't ever watch and things like that. So there's no such thing as Christmas movies that you don't like. 
Except for this one. <laughs> oh, no, I have a With few. one notable Except for exception. the ones you no, don't I, like. I have Astrid. a few. I have a few that I don't watch. All right. Uh, anything else you want to wrap up a Christmas story and a Christmas story Christmas with? That was a lot. That was a lot. That was a, that was a fucking mouthful. <laughs> oh, oh, go ahead. Take your time. Take your time. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. First, I just first said both titles awesome. in a row. Man, yeah. I got to take a nap. Um, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the first one still for me is timeless. I yep. love so much about the first one. It was great. So, I mean, every even, <laughs> even like the drink your own Ovaltine kids yeah. when he's like every oh week he's yeah. the, 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 the coda <laughs> reads don't forget to drink show. your Ovaltine like, and Ovaltine. he was like this is what the fuck I've been waiting this whole time and this is what the so message then he just goes son of a bitch <laughs> and then walks so out goes to the Thank mailbox you. every day oh, welcome to my goddamn childhood <laughs> 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 So I mean, again, the, the, the first one, so many great, great parts, right? Yeah. That, I mean, here That's we it. are. I, and I, I just even the to the little one, brother falling in the snow, going, I can't get out. I can't get out. Yeah. 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 So that's kind of what bothered me so much about the second one. It was like thirty years of waiting. And this is what we got. Uh, yeah, there's nothing there. Well, I, I mean, it just so like was, the, it just fell flat for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the, the best the it got part. is it could have been way worse. It like we, way, it, it was, it, it was pretty better. good, but it could have been so much it better. Been, you know how they think they the could have made, made some improvements yeah. when you had like Flick and Buddies. They should have been kind of like Family Man, or you know, rather than just a couple of jokers still being doing the same still, guys, still doing the same thing. It's like, right. oh, you're now yeah. 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 You, you just showed me so that. So there's been uh, no character development this whole time. <laughs> Became like a better he, person. Yeah, he has more of a like an arc. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah. What whatever, are you whatever Same. arc it might be is still more than what what Flick, Flick and those guys doing, yeah. did. He well, had an arc. But you're right because he Flick had, that's right, he had least, an arc and they had no. None. But like yeah. Flick, at least like he's a you know, he's a businessman. He owns a bar. Schwartz is like who be you would think he's the one yeah. who right. like had some yeah. shit going on. Yeah. No, he he's became like, the I'm, town loser. I'm a loser. Yeah, he became the town like you know like leech. Yeah, you know, the mooch like it needs to like constantly have a bar tab that's a million miles <laughs> that's long what I mean. from his best friend. Definitely, <laughs> definitely yeah. could have been better. Can we also talk about the fact that Ralphie still, as a grown ass man, would bribe people with the fruit baskets? Yeah. <laughs> that, like, I mean, I mean, we go go with these strengths. If yeah. it works, works. Yeah. I, mean, you know I, mean? I still can't believe how much he looks like his younger self. Like, oh my god! Yeah. Like he would make some faces, like some yeah. of the like. I'm like, oh my I was god! Like, Holy shit! He still yeah. got that like I little think, thing. I mean, his hair, so I think. Made it, it aged him a little bit. I think yeah. on purpose aged him a little bit. Maybe. I yeah. mean, you know, he's, old, I mean, he's older now. Like the last time I remember seeing him was an elf. He's an elf, briefly. Um, I don't remember. Uh, the the elf that's in there that he's asking how many etch a sketches that el- <gasps> he made. Oh. oh, that's him. That's him. I had that's a feeling him. I was like, oh, wow. oh yeah. I've seen those eyes I somewhere. Seen, yeah. <laughs> you, you've yeah. never seen elf. No. Well, Wait, you've never seen so it? So how are you going to do the next part? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I can't right, say that I've seen every Christmas time. movie out there. So, <laughs> no, I mean, of course not. Although no, I have no. seen Elf. Yeah. I have seen Elf a numerous amount of times. I've seen Elf a numerous amount of times. He's been busy. It's been busy. La, 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 la. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. I don't like Will Ferrell. 30 years old. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that'll stop you from seeing it. All right. Awesome. All right, gang. Christmas story to Christmas story. Christmas. Blah, 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 blah. Good work. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas to everybody out there. Merry um, Christmas. Good work, Happy team. holidays. <laughs> all that good stuff. And, uh, Merry Christmas. You know who we are. You know Merry what we do. Larry, Christmas. what are we going to do? Um, rant? Ho, ho, ho. Uh, 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 we can rant. We can rant. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Laters. Later. Later, skaters. Out.